Welcome to Grumpy Vegan Grandad, Dan here. Well, let's talk about birds. Eagles, falcons, swans, penguins, kingfishers, swallows, pigeons. Birds are brilliant. Birds are beautiful. But there's one particular bird. There's one particular bird that is especially mistreated, especially abused. Can you guess what it is? It's the chicken. A hen. Whether it be for meat or for its eggs. Of course there's ducks. There's turkeys. But chickens are especially abused. All the fast food outlets serve it. All the supermarkets serve it. It's chicken in pet food. They even use birds feathers for your quilts and your pillows. For your sleeping bags, for your coats. But chickens especially. So where do chickens come from? So all chickens come from the red jungle fowl, which originated in the Indian subcontinent. Also the grey, I think there's the grey jungle fowl. Well, lesser so. So over 200 breeds of chicken originated from the red jungle fowl from the subcontinent of India and they're still around today. This started about 8,000 years ago but some studies say we actually domesticated them 58,000 years ago. So we have been domesticating these birds for quite a long time, quite a long time and of course the red jungle fowl has been around a, long, a lot longer since we started domesticating them. So they developed some strategies and some intelligence to survive because the red jungle fowl is still about now. And this has been passed on to what we now know as chickens today. They've kept all the traits, or in other words, they've kept all the smartness. So how clever are our little feathered friends you may ask. So even while still in the shell, young chicks communicate with the mothers and vice versa. They emit a sound that notifies the mother that they're cold and she will move them to a warmer place or cover them up with straw or anything around. They also emit pleasure signals to the mother when they are getting, being attended by the mother or feeling comfortable or hear the mother around. It's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. And they also, as they develop in the egg, they, they make noises and respond to the mother's voice so that when they do hatch, um, they recognise the mother's voice. In fact, newborn chicks have been found to be more alert, intelligent, and aware of the surroundings than a human toddler. New studies have revealed. In fact, many traits that were thought to be exclusive in humans and primates, such as communication and cognition and social behavior have now been discovered in chickens. Both male and female have been found to communicate with 24 to 
30 different vocalizations meaning different things. Chickens have a surprisingly sophisticated communication system. They actually have 25, 30 calls that scientists have discovered. Of course, I would suspect the chickens know more than that number because chickens are tuned into chickens like no other animal is. There was a recent study that showed uh, that they respond differently to large versus small aerial predators. They have calls for terrestrial predators. A rooster finds a grasshopper in the, in the lawn, and uh, if there's hens nearby, and only if there's hens nearby, he may make a come-hither call. <coughs> He'll forego eating the, the grasshopper for himself. Hen knows the call. She comes running. He points it out. It looks very gallant. And uh, if she finds it, she's the grasshopper. Well, what's in it for him? Well, of course, he's probably buying credit for maybe a mating opportunity next week. Well, that requires long-term memory, it requires individual recognition. So just that call and this dynamic by itself indicates pretty sophisticated communication in the chicken. This is on par with animals such as dolphins and domesticated dogs, pigs, primates, and even other bird species such as ravens. Chickens have a hierarchy and social order, which they all learn. They feel empathy. They have episodic memories, which means they, they remember things that happened to them in the past, long-term memory. They see more colours and they're capable of social learning. Chickens are very intelligent animals. Very, very intelligent animals. From egg to adulthood. So, you can't deny that chickens are intelligent, loving sentient, feeling, beautiful birds. They're living, they have a right to life just like we do. So how many of these beautiful birds do we murder every year? I mean, there's two parts to the chicken industry. There's the broiler chickens, which are basically the chickens we use for meat. And then we've got the chickens for the egg industry. Mainly female, well all female. And they are abused for the production of basically the periods. But every year there are 66 billion broiler chickens bred into existence and murdered. So every year there are 66 billion broiler chickens murdered for the meat that goes into KFC, supermarkets, Burger King, McDonald's, so every single chicken body selling shop that you can see um, uses these broiler chickens. Um, 7 billion chickens in the, the egg industry worldwide are murdered every year because after two years they, they are murdered and six billion male chicks are murdered to produce egg laying chickens and broiler chickens um, some of the males in the broiler chicken industry are used for meat but all in all that's eight 80 million 80 birds. billion 80 million this guy is such an idiot 80 billion a year for the egg and chicken meat industry and that's that's a, a conservative estimate that is the industry um data that is out there and we ain't counting the backyard farms the small villages in in third world countries that have chickens um Countries where we don't get any data, like North Korea and some parts of Russia. So that number's a, a, a very low estimate. But to put that into context, that is 220 million a day. 9 million an hour. 152,000 birds a minute. It's astounding. 
2,500 birds a second. So in the length of time it takes me to say stop murdering animals for food, it isn't necessary. Go vegan, you bastards. 12,500 birds have just been murdered. 12,500. It's sorrowful. It's sorrowful. 2,500 a second. And that is not seasonal. That is 365 days a year. Every year. 220 million a day. A day. For what? So let's get into the lives of broiler chickens <clears throat> and let's get into the lives of egg laying hens. So first of all I think we'll go into the lives of the broiler hens, the broiler chickens and uh, yeah take a look at this and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank one of my subscribers Leon and the partner who did a little bit of research for me and sent me some links over. So a big thank you to those guys for the support. So yeah, here we go, let's have a look. Like chickens destined for the egg laying industry, broilers begin life as an incubated egg. These eggs are the product of a genetically improved parent stock, a separate breeding flock used to produce viable eggs. The eggs are stored and hatched on tiered racks in vast numbers. Under optimal atmospheric conditions with highly regulated temperatures and carbon dioxide concentrations, the chicks hatch after approximately 21 days. Under optimal atmospheric conditions with highly regulated temperatures and carbon dioxide concentrations, the chicks hatch after approximately 21 days. To reduce high levels of bacteria, formaldehyde or chlorine gas, which is known to be toxic to humans even at low densities, is used to sanitise the shell surface. Both males and females are used in the broiler industry. Any chicks that are deformed or weak and they suspect may not reach full term will be either macerated, blended up alive or put into gas chambers. Once the chicks are sorted and the weak and deformed have been taken away and murdered, they're put into trays ready for shipping out. They're loaded onto trucks and then they're shipped over to growing farms where the horrors are just about to begin. Once at the farms, the chicken's life is short and brutal, from birth to death in just six to seven weeks. Selectively bred to gain weight quickly, most don't see the light of day until they're packed into a lorry and sent to slaughter. Their bodies are huge, but their eyes are still blue and their chirps the mere cheeps of a chick. The average 42 day lifespan of a meat chicken, commonly known as a broiler, is spent inside a foul smelling, often windowless shed with tens of thousands of other birds. As these young animals pile on the weight, their underdeveloped bones are unable to support them and many end up crippled or lame. They often collapse onto the ammonia-rich faeces that cover the shed floor and develop painful hot burns, the scars of which are still evident on many carcasses lining the supermarket shelves. While some brawlers are unable to reach food and water points and die from starvation or dehydration, others die from heart attacks or lung problems brought on by their rapid growth. To understand what these chickens go through, if we took a six pound newborn baby and grew it at the same rate as these broiler chickens. Within six weeks, that baby would weigh 660 pound or 42 stone, the size of the gentleman in this picture. In the UK, we can keep up to 40,000 birds in one shed. And if you buy free range, that doesn't take you off the hook. This is free range. Free range basically means without bars, with a few other exceptions. When the time comes for the birds to go to slaughter, they're loaded onto transport trucks. 
the government's guidelines are extremely vague, stating that birds who are held in containers before and after transport should be protected from bad weather. However, the sides of the trucks are usually open and the birds are subjected to any weather extremes on the way to the slaughterhouse. Chickens killed for meat are slaughtered in two ways, either by controlled atmosphere systems or gassing to you and me or electrical stunning and throat cutting. In 2018, the Food Standard Agency reported in their slaughter method survey that gas killing accounted for 70% of all poultry, indicating that gas systems have now become the main slaughter method for chickens. To gas kill chickens, birds remain in the crates in which they were transported and placed into a chamber. They're then exposed to mixtures of air and gas until dead. It's generally considered to have welfare advantages over electrical stunning and throat cutting because it bypasses the live shackling stage. Gas killing birds is not a method that can be used for religious slaughter as animals must be alive when the throats are cut. Inhalation of carbon dioxide can cause distress which leads the birds to gasp and shake their heads. So it may only be used on the specializers from DEFRA. Argon gas is undetectable to chickens and is believed to be less stressful for the birds, but is the most expensive of the gases and can lead to skin hemorrhaging. Electrical stunning and throat cutting involves hanging live birds upside down by their legs on metal shackles and moving them along a conveyor belt towards an electrified water bath. When the head touches the water, the circuit is completed and supposedly it stuns the birds. But often, when the birds lift their heads, they miss the stunning section and face the blade fully conscious. They then go on to a scalding bath and some of the chickens that weren't stunned initially drown as they're being boiled alive. Egg laying hens have it worse. Egg-laying hens endure this torture, misery, abuse for way longer than broiler chickens. Their abuse lasts for anything from 18 months to two years. The male chicks born to egg-laying hens cannot lay eggs and are not the breed used for meat. Hatcheries separate males from females through a process known as sexing. Since males are worthless to the egg industry, they are disposed of like rubbish either suffocated to death or ground up alive in large industrial macerators. Eggs sold under organic, free-range and humane labels, and even chicks sold to backyard chicken keepers, also have their origins in these killing hatcheries. Female chicks are sent to egg farms, where, due to decades of genetic manipulation and selective breeding, they produce 250 to 300 eggs per year. In nature, wild hens lay only 10 to 15 eggs. Like all birds, they lay eggs only during breeding season and only for the purpose of reproducing. This unnaturally high rate of egg laying results in frequent disease and mortality. 95% of all egg laying hens in the United States, nearly 300 million birds, spend their lives in battery cages so small they cannot even stretch their wings. Packed in at 5 to 10 birds per cage, they can only stand or crouch on the cage's hard wires, which cut their feet painfully. In these maddening conditions, hens will peck one another from stress, causing injury and even death. Rather than give them more room, farmers cut off a portion of their sensitive beaks without a painkiller. A chicken's beak is loaded with nerve endings, more sensitive than a human fingertip. Many birds die of a shock on the spot. Most hens on cage-free or free-range operations are also de-beaked, as these labels allow producers to confine thousands of birds inside crowded sheds. In a natural environment, chickens can live 10 to 15 years, but chickens bred for egg laying are slaughtered, gassed, or even thrown live into dead piles at just 12 to 18 months of age, when the egg production declines. During transport, chickens are roughly stuffed into crates and suffer broken legs and wings, lacerations, hemorrhage, dehydration, heat stroke, hypothermia and heart failure. Millions die before reaching the slaughterhouse. 
At the slaughterhouse, most chickens bred for egg laying are still conscious when their throats are slit, and their hearts are still beating as the blood drains out of their mouths. Millions of chickens worldwide are still conscious when plunged into scalding tank for feather removal. They drown while being boiled alive. Here in the UK, it is a common misconception that battery hens no longer exist in the UK. It is true that since January 2012, there has been a ban on a certain type of cage that gave the chickens practically no room to move and restricted their natural nesting and scratching behaviours. In cages currently being used, the chickens have 20% more room, still very little. Have scratching areas, a small piece of astroturf in the cage, and nesting areas, as few as one box per 20 hens. These conditions are still quite frankly appalling, and when a hen is no longer producing her quarter of one egg a day, she's sent to slaughter. Spent hens are considered a byproduct. Most are composted, some are turned into pet food, and even some of these poor birds are used for the human food chain, generally used in products such as soup, stocks, or stews. So, uh, enjoy your soup. As you can see, it's a pretty disgraceful industry. Abusing female species of the of the hen species, the chicken species, to make money for the periods, creating Frankenstein chickens that grow way too big, thousands upon thousands crammed in sheds for a product that is no more healthier than the red meats that people seem to push to one side and prefer chicken is no better when you talk to people just let them know you know when they talk about how they've seen these magnificent golden eagles at zoos and how they've seen the ostriches in Australia and Africa and how they love parrots magpies and you know how they, they talk about these animals these birds with love yet they contribute towards the holocaust of one particular species of bird who just so happen to be way more intelligent than a lot of humans out there a lot more sociable than a lot of more humans out there. There's no need for this. No need. Just because they look the way they do, they haven't got expressive faces or whatever, humans just automatically assume that there's nothing in there, there's no personality. But every single chicken out there has got a personality. And most of the poor male chicks in this industry don't even get a look in. They don't even see the day out. They don't even see the sunset. They don't even see a sunset. Instead, they ground up alive in a macerator or gassed. Tell your friends, tell your family to stop. Stop contributing towards this evil, evil industry. Save the animals, save the planet, save yourself, go vegan. Stop eating chicken, for fuck's sake.